Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Paul Legrone. Tonight, local businesses are getting some much-needed help. The city of Tampa now allowing them to expand their operations outdoors. And tonight, ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell with how restaurants are moving from the dining room to the street. It's been torture. Ybor City business owner Jason Fernandez feels that pain these days, needing to lay off workers amid the COVID-19 crisis. The first phase of the governor's reopening plan began yesterday, but limits restaurants and retail indoor capacity to 25%. All of a sudden you have dining rooms at 25% capacity. Uh, you're, you're not able to pay your bills at 25% capacity. Now, restaurant and retail businesses in Tampa can also expand to sidewalks and parking areas under the city's lift up local plan. As part of the initiative, the city also created zones where streets are shut down and businesses can use the space in Ybor City, downtown, Soho, and here in Hyde Park. For us, it's going to give us an opportunity to get additional seating so we can actually hit some of our numbers and get back to a profitability stage. I mean, we've just been trying to survive since COVID happened. On top of all this, restaurants are also taking extra precautions. Here, they're going to be using disposable menus, wearing masks, even asking guests if they can take their temperatures. The pilot project will last for two weeks. Tampa police are out checking to make sure no one is violating guidelines. But businesses hope this is the first of many steps to move past the crisis. I think that it's showing the community as they start to see us become active again that things are going to get back to normal. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.